Alright, so let's go through this. This is like take two. Um, here's the main thing I want to show you. When you have nickel iron or nickel cadmium batteries, the old style with the steel cases, I bought these and the tops are all rusted, okay? How did they prevent that back in the day? Well, I have, this is, these are nickel cadmiums. You see that? Uh, it says knifey, but that's just a trademark. Uh, Younger went with uh, nickel cadmium, uh, but he kept the periodic table of the elements nickel, I and I, and Fe for iron. He kept the, the periodic of the table as a trademark, but these are nickel cadmium. So back to what I was trying to tell you. Um, Here's an example of an actual uh, Edison nickel iron alkaline battery. See how the top isn't rusted? Um, I moved some of the petroleum away to see the uh, what version of battery this was. But you can see there's a, a sticky petroleum protective coat. What uh, Edison had, it was called a uh, Esbeline. So just think of Edison Vaseline. That's what they used on there. It's just petroleum jelly. So you've got to petroleum jelly the tops of your, your steel cases. Even if they're nickel steel. Uh, if you don't, you risk this happening. See that? That's nasty. I, I don't think that can do much for that. So I went to Walmart, and this is currently what's on sale. 100% petroleum jelly, but it's scented. So I don't know how it's 100% of it's scented. So um, just take some of that and jelly up your case tops. Um, what else do I say? Um, so much I want to go over. Okay, the differences between... Nickel iron and nickel cadmium. If you want to know that stuff, you've got to get these books. All right. This one is uh, Alkaline Accumulators uh, by Cornell and Lee. Uh, you can't even find this. This was a. Uh, this is a. Uh, uh, an ex library book that I bought. Um, this place got closed down. I looked it up. Um, it got closed down or absorbed. Um, it doesn't really exist anymore. So, this, this is a really good book. It's got to get back into circulation because it's, it's like, it's like everything I would want to learn and um, here we'll, we'll go to the preface and the table of contents so you, you see what what's in this book um, it tells everything back uh, in the, the late 1920s and then I'll show you another book That uh, so yeah, um, that's a really good book. You can't find it anymore. I I'm gonna see about maybe republishing it. Maybe um, this book is literally like part two of that first book I showed you. Um, but these guys, um. I think Falk is out of Sweden. Uh, he worked for uh, the Junger uh, Battery Company. And uh, this guy is a Sal Salkine. He, uh, he did a YouTube interview. You can find it. It's pretty interesting. This book is awesome. It's, like, it's literally like everything up past 
past this little green book, this thing like goes uh, even more about it. Um, you can find this book. It's kind of expensive unless you find a used copy. Um, but what I want to say is the pictures in both these books are amazing. Um, and uh, what else did I want to say? This guy, he was uh, he used uh, special means to look inside the nickel cadmium batteries to see what the reactions were, like X-rays or something. So he was a he was a uh, he finally answered a lot of the questions of what was going on. Um, so I can I can I can show you the the front and the back. This is just the advertisement. I ordered this book by the way. Um, I probably should have a table of contents, but it's still copyright, so I can't show you all that. Um, yeah. So Falk is he knows about the Younger batteries, nickel cadmium, real good, and then Salkine. He worked for uh, um, U.S. Uh, U.S. Uh, industries. So between the two of them, pretty good book. Um, um, I can't show you anything copyright, otherwise the whole video is done. So. Skip the forward, skip the preface, we'll go to the contents. So this this will between these two books, you'll learn all kinds of good stuff. Um, you'll be an expert. Um, this other book I have, um, remember that name right there? I bought all these books used, by the way. I'm not rich. Uh, electrochemical power sources, primary and secondary batteries. Um, let's see here. There we go. So there's an, there's a chapter in this one by that dude I just pointed out, and he talks even more. So. There's some references if you want to learn more about these uh, types of batteries. I'll, I'll give. I can't do the straight out, out of the book stuff, but uh, I can give you the workaround stuff as I make videos and things. If you don't want to read, a lot of people don't want to read nowadays. Uh, so I went over. Uh, you want a petroleum jelly or your tops? And when I say tops. I just mean down here, like down in here, not up on this case, uh, opening and all that. Not just keep it, keep it low, keep it low and in there. Don't get the jelly up inside where it can get inside. Just keep it down in there. Um, and just remember what happens if you don't. That could happen. So what prevention with a pound of cure? Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so when you see a lot, a common mistake, people see knifey and they think nickel iron. See that N-I-F-E right there? I'll center that on there. It does not mean nickel iron literally. That's an old brand name that Junger used uh, and he kept it even though his company went with nickel cadmium. And he advocated nickel cadmium. So it's, it's a convenient trademark that confuses a Jesus out of everybody and then if you look at the Edison he he uh, did use nickel iron literally it's all spelled out for you um, what else what else I was gonna say yeah I'll, I'll do more videos uh, and stuff I've I'm literally like abducted by my uh, job like so many hours and like 
I'm, I'm, then I'm ejected out of there and I'm so tired. I don't have energy. So I'm working. I literally have a couple hours a day to myself. And I got so many commitments and it's driving me nuts. And I don't know how I'm going to get out of it easily. So just imagine you just had a couple of days to yourself every day. And then you had the weekends where you had to catch up on things. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's, I don't know how to explain it. Um, well, I'll explain it in another video, I guess. But basically, I'm going to get on this and we're going to learn about these things and get them going. Um, stay tuned. I plan to be one of the experts you can, you can talk to about um, alkaline batteries, the, the old style ones. And so uh, feel free to, to ask me a question. I'm going to start answering questions on stuff regularly. And uh, what else? Something cool about uh, these old wood cases for the nickel cadmiums, the knifey nickel cadmiums, is they have these little dots, metal dots with a, ne a negative. So you know that's a negative pull right there. I'm pretty sure this is a positive one, but the, the, um, yeah, well, it is, because that's, that's a red band right there, so that, as opposed to a black band on that one, so that's a positive right there, so that you could easily understand, like, at night, in the dark, like, if you're working on these in the dark, with a railroad, in a railroad or something, or a ship, you could, you could identify those real easy, it's a pretty good innovation. But Edison seemed to have better cases, like, better design, like, more money put into them and stuff. The the nickel cadmium cases are pretty simple. The list to go wrong. I literally, it was sad. There was, it was raining one day and I bought a bunch of these. Um, and the wood was so soaked from the rain that I pulled up on the uh, one of these uh, handles and it came right off. Just melted right through the wood. So maybe that's another, that's the reason why. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Alright. I also want to welcome uh, a big league YouTuber to my channel. He subscribed. Uh, he's, uh, he goes, his channel is called uh, uh, Prepper Nurse. Thank you, man, for subscribing. I'm going to uh, double, triple down on making some more of these uh, nickel iron type videos. And uh, let it go with the knowledge, because uh, I'm flattered you subscribed, and uh, I know you're interested in this this technology. And I'll, I'll tell you what I know on these videos, and kind of steer steer you with uh, well, advise not not advise, not steer, but comment on on stuff I've um, discovered and rediscovered. Actually, this has all been lost knowledge for most people clean myself all right so um, I'm gonna do a close-up of the labels real quick so this one is um, Western Electric Co that one over there is a, is a, is a match this is a uh, five cells and five cells makes 12 volts with this nickel cadmium here um, Western Electric Co was a uh, almost a subsidiary supplier to uh, um, Ma Bell. Um, it's pretty interesting to look up the history. Um, what else? Edison. This is one of the later labels. I've got some earlier labels. I don't have the latest label when they were bought by Exide, but um, this is what you look at. And so this is just a single cell, so it's 1.2 volts. I mean, I could probably power an LED or something. But uh, anyway, more on this stuff later. This video is getting too long. Thank you very much. And uh, like I said, this this uh, this book here, you can't find it. It's not on Amazon or whatever. I think I bought the last copy. Uh, this is a very interesting, important book. Um, see about getting republished or something in some way or some form. 
Alright, I'm going to leave a link in my description. I got a bunch of old Edison manuals that I put together. I was going to do a uh, nickel, nickel iron uh, cyclopedia, but never got to it. All I did was uh, conform a bunch of manuals together in a big old PDF. So you're welcome to, to take a look at that. And I, I, it'll inform me quite a bit. It doesn't have anything on nickel cadmium, though. That's something I need to branch out into. Um, Alright, take care.